the same stuff as bitch you always been. You need to figure out your shit and stop using me. I'm Issa D, and this is what happens when you allow Molly's toxic thoughts in your head. Exhibit A, pregnant sympathy. Bless you. <laughs> now you thought you were just buying some Pampers, but in reality, you were buying a million dollars worth of groceries and you didn't have the 150 to cover it. <laughs> nope, still declined. It, it won't change. You know what? <laughs> That's okay. Don't be weird. You still the same stuff as bitch you always been. Here I am, unnecessarily helping a black man running for the bus. Sir, I don't know where you're going, but I surely can get you there. And why is that, children? Because I don't use people, I help. Issa, I know you do Uber, but letting a strange man in your car without the strap? Don't know if I'll recommend it. Nobody has more drama than you, Issa. That sweet, savory smell of new flaky friends. Oh my God, girls, get in here. I may not have had $150 for those pampers, but I did have $15 for that Carlo Rossi. And we drinking up in here. If y'all want any of this Pinot, let me know. Hell yeah. yeah. Drinks for everybody. See, Molly, I don't need you. I have new friends that support me wholeheartedly. And even though they're extra in a way I can't put my finger on, I'm sensing a little bit of unemployment, mm -hmm, some scamming, and using other people's credit cards on a regular. Yeah. But today, you're just going to get stuck with the bill. If y'all thought Issa D was paying for three scandalous, scamming, fake, fancy from Upper Marlboro, you're wrong, because she was up in that Malibu burning rubber. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Issa. Y'all, that was so funny because I would have did the same thing. I get what kind of bitch run up and get hit. Really What's that, Kizzy? What the fuck? Yeah. Molly ain't looking so bad now, is she? Cause she would have never. She knows Issa's funds been recessed. Whew. And after a day like that, you just need to go where everybody knows your name. Your mommy's house. Moms always know when something is wrong. What's wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> All those months of the highs and the lows and the breakups and the makeups and the uncertainty, they just came crashing down. <laughs> so Molly and Issa definitely need to talk. But guess what they won't be doing? talking and I don't blame Issa either because after Molly's over the top behavior at the block party, I doubt that she would be receptive to anything Issa said. It's very clear how I felt, but I guess what? That didn't mean anything to you? Fuck you. I mean, Molly thinks she's right. Molly's the victim. I should have dropped your line ass a long time ago. You still the same selfish bitch you always been. Molly, get your finger out of my fucking What you gonna do? So right now it's Molly as a staff, record label, and a mother crew. And if you down with Molly, then you too. Matter of fact, anybody who thought that Molly was right at the block party, I want y'all to stay far away from me. Far away, because I don't need that type of energy in my life. We gonna see what's gonna happen. We know next week, Molly is going on a vacation for the first time in her black life. Yay! <laughs> She thinks it's all sunshine and rainbows, but but in reality, a vacation, you're all over each other. There's nowhere to hide. So you better really, really like him. This was kind of a low-key episode, but drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll see y'all next week.